Hi, good day. This is Paul from Solace. Today I'm going to talk about some troubleshooting methods on troubleshooting CanCom faults. So CanCom's faults is um, an, a, a, fault that, a fault code that appears on the inverter when it's not detecting CAN communications between the battery and the inverter. So CAN communications is always required for lithium batteries for the system to work and if the inverter ever detects that there's a failure it will report this and it will stop working so it's very important to troubleshoot this and the easiest way to troubleshoot this is by measuring the voltages on the pins of the CAN port on the inverter so the, there, there can be an issue with the, the port of the inverter there can be an issue with the CANCOM fail the CANCOM cable running to the battery and then there can also be a, a uh, an issue on the battery side, uh, i.e. The, the battery being off, it obviously will not push out CAN communications. So th there's many things that can, can um, be causing this CANCOM fault and one of the, what I'm going to go through today is how to work out if your inverter is correctly pushing out CAN communications or not. So there's two very easy methods to, to work out if there's CAN communications coming from your inverter. The first one is to um, make up a cable like this. So you've got your RJ45 on the one end of it, which fits into the port, and then you've, you've stripped the cables back, um, pins four and five, which on my RJ45 is blue and blue and white. But you must check your RJ45 to, to see which colors you should be using on your cable. And then pin two, which is orange on mine, and again, you must check on your RJ45 to make sure you've got the correct colors. And then the other method for troubleshooting is directly measuring. So if you're uh, lucky enough to have small pin probe, small tips on your multimeter probes, you can actually measure directly on the port of the inverter on pins two, which is on the right hand side, and four and five, um, moving numerically to the left, um, looking at the inverter like this you can measure it directly on the pins and you should be seeing uh, two and a half volts between the two. Okay, um, I'll start off with the easier test and that's using the cable that you made up with the orange and blue cables coming out in the case of my RJ45. So you take the RJ45 end and stick it into the COM port of the inverter. What's very important about this test is that, or well, both tests actually, is that the inverter is powered up. You will get no result in if the CAN port is working or not working if the, in, there's the, no power to the inverter. So the AC coupled inverter is powered from the batteries or the grid. So you'll need at least one of those and the screen to be on and the, the red power LED to be on for, um, for this test to actually give you a result. So yeah, you stick the CAN COM port, the CAN cable that you've made with a broken end on the one side into the CAN port and then you set your multimeter to measuring DC voltage. So at the moment it's measuring AC voltage. I'm just going to click select. It's measuring DC but the range is a bit off. So the range of this voltage is about 2.3 volts. So I'm just going to change the range to volts instead of millivolts and then you take your multimeter probes and polarity is not so important with this test but what is important is the magnitude of the voltage so you take your one probe and just for the sake of it, I'm going to put black on on ground so my orange cable is ground it's pin 2 on the RJ45 your colors might be different but I'm connecting my one probe to pin 2 and then my other probe to pin 4 or 5 and there you go, I'm getting two volts. So that confirms that I'm getting CAN communications. Well, at least on my CAN H, it is working. And then if I go to the other pin, it's also two volts. So that's confirming for me that inside this inverter, there's connections to my microprocessor and there's CAN communications on both CAN H and CAN L. So this inverter should speak to any battery with CAN communications and shouldn't have a problem. And then I'm going to get into the second test to do. Okay, the second test that we're going to do is dire measuring directly on the pins. So I've got very nice multimeter probes here. And you go into pin 2 here. And you go into pin 4 or 5. And you should get the 2.1 volts. Just like in the other test. 